five now? I looked it up there. <laughs> Not at times. First quarter, I did. <laughs> so you've had some fun games uh, over the years in this building and playoffs, and uh, this was a pretty good one for you. Well, yeah, it was a great win. You know, we're huge underdogs, obviously, playing back-to-back -back champions, and uh, we kind of snuck in the playoffs early, and uh, obviously, you know, we lost uh, eight in a row, and we won two playoff games in a row. It still doesn't mean anything. We need, we need to go into Rochester. And uh, we have two cracks at it, a full game and a 10 minute game. So uh, we uh, gave ourselves an opportunity to win in Rochester. Um, that's all we could do right now. We're, I think we're still underdogs going in there. You didn't have a lot of opportunities in the third quarter to, to score. Obviously, we're blank. What, what changed in the fourth? I, I mean, I, I don't know. Did we had a chance in the third? I don't remember. I just kind of <laughs> felt like we were flat. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it seemed like there was like many runs both ways. Like we go up by two, they went up by two, we went up by two, we just kind of went back and forth. And then the last one, we just kind of was seemed to very five, four or five in a row. And that was the difference. Is they, didn't, they didn't answer our last few goals and we scored four or five. I thought there was a well-balanced game for both teams. The third quarter, I didn't think we had many opportunities. I don't remember, but I thought we were flat and they had the extra jump in the third. The play of Chad Culp on the offensive end he wasn't there for a lot of the year this time, but or yeah, earlier in the year. Yeah, he's a great hustler. You know, he's something that we need on the left side. You know, you got me, 45, and, you know, perimeter player, Sean, Vanny, we're all the kind of same players. So it's kind of having a nice, having a guy in there, you know, saying some picks, getting some loose balls, creating some second chance, scoring the odd goal, just bring some energy to the left side. And, uh, you know, I think it's a great move to bring Chad up and, and play the odd shift. So I think that's added a lot to our offense. Long stretches, John, where it seemed like passes were getting picked off or going yeah. and both yeah. ways. Yeah, no, I, it was a it was a, a good game, but an ugly game. And on, on, the, you know, on our part, I thought I thought we looked sloppy. I know I looked like I said I thought I looked sloppy in the first quarter. I was like, oh god, not one of these games. And I see, you know, I, I, I seemed to jump a snap out of it, and, and, and there was a few times where we're like drop pass, drop pass, bad pass, bad pass, and uh, we found a way to win. We found a way to score. You know, our offense is. Uh, not scored a lot in the second half of the season. The last three goals, we've found ways to win. So we, 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 we and that's the nice thing about having veterans. You know, we don't panic, and we maintain our composure, and we overcame all those little mistakes we made early. I think the highlight real goal that people are going to talk about is the, the one jumping over the net. What, what did you? Say? From what I remember, I was, I was kind of in trouble in the corner. I don't know if I was on the on the floor on the turf or not. And I got up and ran behind the net, and I just kind of the goalies. Position. I knew that the, whatever side, the left side would be open. I took my chances and the, I jumped. Not very high. It looked higher than what it was. <laughs> and I don't know if it was in a crease or not. It felt good. You know, the refs called it. I couldn't tell the one, the one highlight or the, uh, the review there. They didn't review, but what did they call it? The, uh, replay. Replay. Thank you. And I was like, oh, was that in a crease there? I felt like it went high when I watched the replay. Man, I, I don't know. I was dragging my foot a lot. But uh, it counted, and uh, you know, it was a big goal. I think it was a tying goal or a goal, and so it gave us momentum, which was nice. I assume, John, the last thing you want to do is to give Rochester two chances to clinch it now. Yeah. Pressure's on them at home. You know, it's, yeah. you know, I mean, it's an odd system, but. You know, I know yeah. like, we're obviously a better team at home, and, and Rochester's definitely a better team at home as well. And, uh, you know, the pressure's on them. Like I said, they, they're still favorites, you know. Like they've got uh, a great team over there. Uh, they got a great balance. They're, you know, they were second overall. I don't know what the record was. They didn't have a lot of losses. Um, I think maybe only Edmonton beat them at home. So, you know, we have a work cut out for us. And uh, it's, it's an odd situation with the two game, with the mini game. Uh, but like I said, we, we, we did our job today, and we need to go over there and be focused. And we can't be satisfied with the one win. And we can't think, hey, let's take a minute, 10 minutes. We've got to go and try to win the, the regular game. We can't just think, hey, we have you know, two chances, which is great, we do. But we have to have the mindset that we're going to try to win the game. You know? mm -hmm.